In the grand tapestry of human history, there are moments so pivotal they can alter the course of an entire species journey through time. And one such moment is what we're going to explore today. Okay. A mysterious event that has left scientists baffled and debating for decades. In 1972, a study dropped a genetic bomb, shocking the scientific community. It revealed that 35,000 to 65,000 years ago, something drastic had happened to our ancestors, a genetic bottleneck that slashed human diversity. Fast forward to 2025, and scientists just uncovered an even older crisis. Our ancestors nearly vanished some 800,000 to 900,000 years ago. Just imagine 98.7% of early humans, 7.9 billion today, wiped out in a single blow. This wasn't modern Homo sapiens, but our forebears, teetering on the edge of extinction. As the heartbeat quickens, so does the narrative. This wasn't your average scientific paper. It's a deep dive into humanity's great filter, a term coined by Robin Hansen. It refers to any barrier so significant that it prevents a species from becoming like us, highly developed and spreading across the galaxy. So what's this great filter? Why did 98.7% of early humans disappear? Was it a natural disaster so massive it froze our ancestors out of existence only for a few thousand to survive? Or was it something even more sinister? The year is 2025, and you are watching this report. The question that arises, did humanity escape extinction only to face another close call millions of years later? Or were these two events part of a larger pattern of our species, narrowly escaping annihilation? Before we delve deeper into this unsettling mystery, allow me to introduce myself. I'm your guide in this intricate labyrinth of prehistoric puzzles. My role is to illuminate the hidden narratives of our distant past, making them as captivating and understandable as possible. Today we'll embark on a journey back in time to uncover the secrets of humanity's great filter. Our story begins in 1972, when a groundbreaking study revealed a dramatic decline in human genetic diversity around 60,000 years ago. This event known as the genetic bottleneck suggested that our species had shrunk to just 3,000 to 10,000 individuals, leaving us teetering on the brink of extinction. The prevailing theory attributes this near catastrophe to the 74,000-year-old Toba eruption in Indonesia. It was 10,000 times stronger than Mount Street, Helens, and it unleashed 2,800 cubic kilometers of ash and pumice. This eruption was so colossal it could have triggered an ice age, killing off all but a handful of humans worldwide. However, recent evidence suggests surviving populations near Toba and more forgiving climate models cast doubt on this theory even questioning the bottleneck's existence. This skepticism stems from outdated DNA technology, which couldn't analyze vast stretches of our genome, leaving room for misinterpretation. Fast forward to 2025. A new study led by anthropologists has unearthed compelling evidence of a severe population decline in humans. The findings suggest that between 800,000 and 900,000 years ago, the human population plummeted to just 1,280 survivors. This revelation is nothing short of astonishing. The mere thought of our ancestors enduring 117,000 years of struggle following such a drastic reduction in numbers is both intriguing and unsettling. But the story doesn't end there. The study also introduces a fascinating twist. It suggests that the bottleneck was on a singular event, but a prolonged period of hardship, spanning over 100,000 years. This raises more questions than it answers. What were the specific challenges our ancestors faced during this time? How did they manage to survive for so long with such a small population? These are the questions that keep scientists up at night, desperately seeking answers in the vast expanse of our prehistoric past. But let's not lose sight of the bigger picture here. This isn't just a tale of human resilience. It's a testament to our tenacity in the face of unimaginable odds. To put this into perspective, if the human population today is compared to all the people who have ever lived, it would be like saying there are about 7,000 people alive today. This figure drops to just 12, if we account for the 1.28 bottleneck. To put it simply, if everyone who has ever lived were gathered together, only 12 would be alive today. This stark comparison highlights the severity of the situation our ancestors found themselves in. Now you might be wondering, how do scientists arrive at such staggering figures? Their calculations are based on a comprehensive analysis of 3,000 genomes from various populations around the world. 
By studying the genetic makeup of individuals across different regions, they were able to reconstruct our ancestral history and estimate the size of the surviving population. It's like piecing together a giant jigsaw puzzle, where each piece of the genome offers a clue to our shared past. Through this intricate process, they uncovered the remarkable tale of our ancestors' struggle for survival. But the story doesn't end at the genetic bottleneck. Scientists have also delved into fossil records and archaeological evidence to piece together the full narrative. They discovered that from 950,000 to 650,000 years ago, there was a noticeable gap in the fossil record. This absence of physical remains coincides with the proposed period of the bottleneck, lending credence to the genetic evidence. However, this apparent gap has been challenged by some experts who believe that it may have been caused by a lack of fossil sampling rather than a real population decline. Nevertheless, the absence of fossils during this period continues to fuel the debate surrounding the 1.28 bottleneck, making it one of the most contentious topics in paleoanthropology. One particularly interesting aspect of this discussion revolves around the potential disappearance of certain species, like Homo antecessor. Some researchers speculate that this species may have been wiped out by the population bottleneck, while others argue that it simply evolved into Homo heidelbergensis, or a closely related ancestor. This evolutionary link adds another layer of complexity to the puzzle, prompting scientists to reconsider the traditional narrative of human evolution. To further complicate matters, the Middle Pleistocene transition, particularly the 0.9 million year event, ushered in colder, drier climates, forcing dietary shifts in humans and animals alike. But the scarcity of plant food led to increased hunting and a more nomadic lifestyle. Without the mastery of fire, survival became a daily struggle. Meat took a heavy toll on the body, requiring more energy to digest and posing risks of bacterial infections. All of this paints a grim picture of the challenges our ancestors faced during this period. It seems as if every corner we turn reveals another obstacle they had to overcome to reach the present day. Yet amidst this adversity, there was a glimmer of hope, a turning point that led to the explosion of human population. According to estimates, the human population rose by 2,000% by 83,000 years ago, reaching an estimated 50,000 individuals. This remarkable growth can be attributed to the mastery of fire which allowed for more efficient cooking of food, reduced risk of bacterial infections, and the ability to thrive in diverse environments. It's as if the discovery of fire ignited a chain reaction, propelling our ancestors towards greater prosperity. However, this narrative of resilience is not without its skeptics. Some scientists question whether the population decline was truly as severe as claimed, suggesting that the available evidence may not accurately represent the reality of the past. They argue that alternative factors, such as changing migration patterns, may have contributed to the observed genetic changes. Despite the progress made in understanding our deep past, there are still many unanswered questions. What led to this drastic reduction in population? Was it solely due to environmental pressures, or were there other contributing factors? How did our ancestors adapt and recover from such a severe setback? Unraveling these mysteries is crucial to comprehending the forces that have shaped our species. For instance, the idea that the bottleneck stretched to one million years ago raises questions about the specific event or combination of events that caused such a profound impact on our population. Moreover, the connection between the bottleneck and the brutal migration conditions, including scarce water and harsh roots, adds another layer of complexity to the puzzle. Scientists are now working tirelessly to untangle these threads and weave them into the tapestry of our shared past. As research continues to pour in, we can expect more revelations about the severity of the bottleneck and its lasting impacts on human evolution. While the 2025 studies shed light on this pivotal moment in our history, they also open up new avenues of inquiry. The search for definitive answers is far from over, and it's clear that humanity's journey through time has been fraught with challenges and triumphs. From the brink of extinction to the mastery of fire, our story is one of resilience and innovation. Now we must continue to dig deeper, to analyze more genomes, and to piece together the fragmented evidence of our past. For it is in understanding our roots that we discover the strength and adaptability that define our species. As we bring this episode to a close, I encourage you to embrace the spirit of discovery and exploration. Don't be afraid to ask questions and challenge the status quo. Who knows, 
You might just uncover the next chapter in humanity's epic saga. Speaking of epic sagas, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Join our growing community of explorers and adventurers who are eager to uncover the secrets of our past. Together we can traverse the twists and turns of time and bring history to life. As you venture forth into the world, may the spirit of discovery guide your steps and may the echoes of our shared history inspire your journey. Until next time, keep asking questions and never stop exploring.